Yo, what's up guys, it's Zen Game Freak here to bring you another societal discussion. And this one's going to be about individuality slash popularity, kind of slash, like, you know, essentially just being popular and, you know, being an individual. You know, following in the crowd or being an individual. A sheep or the shepherd. <laughs> Five points for anyone who gets that reference. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go. Okay, so this video was actually inspired by my boy Christophan, who's finally making videos again. He made a video addressing, kind of talking about, like, essentially individuality. It was like a ramble slash rant. Um, I'm going to annotate his channel on the screen. Go check him out. He's a dude who does, essentially, comedy and mixing comedy and real-life situation vlogs. So you get a mixture of hilarity and seriousness, and it's all cool and fun and shit. And, oh, great. Also, the videos are short, so I don't want to hear any bitching about, oh, my God, it's three minutes. Anyways, go check them out. Yeah. Okay, so for the most part, I agree with what he said in this video. Uh, what I'm essentially going to do is use it as a springboard to kind of go into my whole ramble, discussion, rant thing I do, because, you know, as everyone knows, when you're watching an insane game freak video, the first thing you're always gonna be like is he needs to shut the fuck up, and I never do. <laughs> but um, essentially, it's like this whole concept of how how people tend to follow trends so they can be accepted by other people. Now, if we really want to go back and just really look at what that is, in that in itself isn't being the thing is following proper. People need to understand, following popular trends doesn't make you, you know, a sheep or, you know, someone who follows a crowd. What it does, it just means, is it, but it only, the only way that works is if you generally like what you're, what, what you're into. Even if it is popular, if you, if you genuinely like what you're into, it won't matter. Because people need to understand, that's not, it's like being an individual is liking what you're liking regardless of who the fuck says. Which means it can be popular, it can be underrated, it can just be whatever. Or it could just be, meh, you know, meh in the middle, you know, a normal damn thing. It doesn't fucking matter. The thing about the sheep thing, though, is your sheep, when you start getting into things and you start creating a, a second personality for yourself, or, or uh, what's the way to put it? Having kind of like yourself and then creating like this hollow shell in front of you that looks completely different or looks what, what you would think other people would want to see from you. That's what that is. Essentially, it's like you're wearing a fucking mask or like putting on like a bodysuit of somebody else. And it's fucking retarded. That's being a sheep. Now, the reasoning why I suspect a lot of people even do this in the first place is not really necessarily because... You know, they just want, they, they don't like themselves or insecurities. Mind you, that could be a part of it, but usually what it is is that people, the whole point is that humans like to have interactions with each other. Now, mind you, I'm kind of a loner. I don't really follow that, but most people do like to have interactions at least with one or two other people at the very little. And especially when you're in high school, you, you really want, most kids want to be around other kids, you know, talking about saying things. And the thing is, the popular trends, like the newest movies, books, video games, animes, whatever the fuck, is an easy way to jump into conversations like a springboard. I'll give you an example. Um, in high school, um, I live in the South, so a lot of what people were talking about in general conversations was usually about sports, movies, TV shows, that kind of shit. Now, mind you, as a guy, you know, you're probably going to hang out with the guys that are talking about sports and shit a lot. I don't fucking like sports. <laughs> I don't really care about watching football, basketball, softball, baseball, any of that shit. I don't care about watching sports. When you, when you can't use the popular topics to jump into a conversation, it makes ha talking to people or meeting people harder than it, than it could be because of that. So I don't think for people who, who get into, you know, people use the main popular shit, shit to like, jump into conversations. That's what they do. I mean, that's, it's easy, like, like, if you're trying, if you're trying to have an anime conversation with somebody, you're not going to mention something fucking as uh, underrated as a uh, grenadier. You're probably going to mention something as overrated as fucking Naruto, or fucking Cowboy Bebop, or Roni Kenshin, or Dragon Ball Z, as a, as a, as a starting topic. But the thing people don't understand is, people seem to confuse those conversations as, with, at, to, to real conversations. The thing people need to understand is when you get into conversations talking about popular shit, the conversation shouldn't stop there. It should go further. It, you should, 
But the, the way I view it is like when you have a conversation with a person and you're and you start off with Dragon Ball Z, you should not end in Dragon Ball Z. Or if you're start, or if you're talking about uh, the help, it shouldn't end at the help because conversations are meant to be kind of like a snowball effect. They're supposed to keep rolling and rolling, and as the conversations get deeper or bigger or about other things. The problem, and, and the thing is, is that people take that whole springboard effect and think, oh, if we talked about Dragon Ball Z for six hours, we must be really good friends. No, because what the fuck have you learned? His thoughts on Dragon Ball Z. Not saying you can't get good conversations out of that, but most real conversations don't just stick on one topic. No, I have not seen a real, none of my friends I've ever stuck on one set topic. If you stick on one set topic, and that's all you talk about, there's something horribly wrong with that friendship, and that is not a fucking real friendship. That's you talking to that person all the time about the same damn thing. Now, getting back to the whole individuality, individuality concept is that, as I said, liking popular things doesn't make you any less of an individual. Liking Nick's things doesn't make you more of an individual. What makes you, when you start, the thing that makes you lose that individuality is when you start doing it for the sake of others. When you start getting into things and liking things, quote unquote, not because you actually like them, but just so you can gain acceptance and you can, you know, jump into conversations and become mildly sociable, there's a problem there because people don't understand. Because the thing is, is that people's mindsets reflect on what they like. Like if you like Twilight, there's a, there's probably a part of you that likes romance, maybe bad movies, maybe good movies, maybe uh, monsters and fucking werewolves and vampires and shit. And let's say you hate that shit, but you just, you, you watch Twilight so you can conversate about Twilight. How is the conversation going to snowball if you can't branch off on any of those things? Like, you, you hate romance, you hate horror flicks. That's what you could do. Like, Twilight doesn't have to, like, if you have a Twilight conversation, it shouldn't end at Twilight. It should be like Twilight, maybe you start talking about horror movies, and you start talking about vampire movies, talking about Dracula, maybe the fucking novels, the Bram Stoker novels, maybe the authors, you start getting into books. You can, you, it should be a snowball thing. It should go from, you know, point A to like Z. Not every conversation is going to do that, but you shouldn't be on Twilight that entire conversation. That's my whole point. Um, when a person who just, who just does it just for the sake of a conversation starter, where is it going to go with you? You, you and her, you and that person are going to talk and it's just going to be like fucking, it's like Twilight. Do you like horror movies? No. Do you like romances? No. Um, do you like books? No, I don't read books. That's why I watch the movie. Like, it's going to snowball into, like, you are less likely to get into a real conversation with somebody because you've given them this false impression into your mind. Because we don't understand. When you fucking talk about a similar subject and you both either like or dislike, there should be some sense of real... real uh, what's the word? Relativity. I'm talking with a cough drop in my mouth, so I'm, like, mispronouncing everything. But, like, relativity. Tivity. Relativity. Relativity. My bad. Damn. Fucking cough drops. <laughs> there should be a sense of relativity. If, if you can't do that because you put on this bullshit mask to give them a false impression of where they should talk. Because we don't understand. In first impressions, we usually judge, we gauge a person on what, what the conversation is about. If the initial conversation is on Twilight, and you say, oh, I like the movie, and you like the movie, they're going to gauge that and use that as a basis for whatever else they conversate with you about. You giving them that false impression means they will talk to you about a lot of shit you don't really give a fuck about. Meaning you are now wasting your time with a person who has a fucked up interpretation of you because all you because you were just because you just wanted the fucking conversation. This is why it's so hard for people to make friends in high school because a lot of people like to fucking put on these masks and these masks and these bodysuits pretending to be something that they're not. And people need to understand. Having a million friends isn't fucking necessary, and being in every sense of conversation isn't fucking necessary. I, I understand it's nice, but where the fuck does it get you, and what kind of enjoyment do you get out of that? It's like, wh wh what the fuck, <laughs> what the fuck are you accomplishing by having these false friendships? Because that's what I'll call them, they're eventually false friendships. You'll, you'll base a friendship off of things you don't even think are to, to be true, but you just don't want to upset the person. People need to understand that friendship and, you know, social and, you know, uh, friends and any type of social interaction is not going to be 100% clicking. Because if it's 100% clicking, what that's not friendship. That's like cloning of each other. You're, you're, it's like, best friends don't, 
There is no there is no such thing as best friends who agree on anything, like everything, because that wouldn't make any sense. Who the fuck wants to interact with a person who has the same ideas as you? You could just fucking talk to yourself in a mirror and get that. You want opposing viewpoints. You want people to butt heads. People need to understand this fucking... Let's make friends off of fucking... Samey shit doesn't do anything. And being popular doesn't get you anywhere either. Because what does popularity get you? It's like, okay, yeah, you got a lot of people that you obviously know that you're not friends with, really. And then you develop all these insecurities about yourself because... They think you're one way, and you're the other way. So they usually make fun of you the other way, knowing that that's not you even though they don't know that you're wearing a mask. So in, in retrospect, they're making fun of you. And you don't want to show them yourself because you fear that they won't like you. Well, how, what, I don't understand this concept of people don't understand that friends, friends shouldn't be that biased. If friends are that biased against your personality and what you like and what you dislike, there's something fucking horribly wrong there. This whole, and this whole, and oh yeah, and this fucking whole individual thing is bullshit about Oh, if you like niche, if you like niche shit, that makes you more... Because this whole hatred of mainstream, because if you're a mainstream, you become less of an individual, and you're just some dude who likes all the popular shit. As I fucking said, you can like popular shit and still be an individual. The only way you're not an individual when you like popular shit is when you don't generally like it, like genuinely like it, and you're just doing it to, as I said, oh my god... <laughs> Fucking hit the TV. <laughs> That's just, that would have been a horrible blooper right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> that fucked me over. Um, but it, it, the only way you're not an individual is when you're doing it for the sake of someone else. So you're doing it to to be accepted. Because the problem is people think in today's society you need to be accepted for everything to go. You're going to click with somebody. People need to understand that. No matter what you like, you're going to click with somebody. I mean, there's more than one pedophile in the world, even though I don't agree with that shit. But it's the fact, there's more than one pedophile in the world. There's nothing you could possibly be into that someone else isn't into. It's, it's just, it's fucking impossible. So people, people are thinking, we gotta do mainstream shit. Yeah, it's easier to jump into conversations, but if you just, if you use that as a basis to build yourself on it, then you become this fake person with fake false ideas and dreams and shit, and you've now created this fucking dumbass image to your friends. So, when you actually get mature enough and realize that that was fucking stupid, you've now realized you've wasted a shitload of time with these people. Because it's like, you're hanging out with niggas who have ideas that you don't even like. If, it's like. if you don't like the Twilight movies and you become friends with a whole bunch of Twilight fans, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, as I said, the popular shit to me serves a purpose as being a springboard in the conversations to getting to know a person, to gauge them, and seeing if you want to fuck with them on a friendship, love, relationship, whatever, whatever the fuck. But it shouldn't be your personality. It shouldn't be you doing this. Listen, if you if you want to watch, li listen, I don't, all right, all right, I'll give you this. I'll give you a scenario. Back in 2006, Naruto was the big thing. If you got into Naruto and you didn't like it, and you told people you didn't like it in conversations, that's fine. People need to understand, just because you don't like the same thing the other person likes doesn't mean that you, you can't still build upon a friendship with that. Because then you can go on to, because you're not lying to yourself. That's the whole point of the whole individuality thing. People lie to themselves when they fucking put on this fucking mask and this dumbass persona just to click with a group, or just like they lie about their opinions on things. When you lie about your fucking opinions, People get fucked up impressions of you. You're not helping either one of you. Because now, there was never a time with someone who's fucking afraid of themselves. It's afraid to show themselves. And you're wasting your time hanging with a person that you're not even really friends with. It's, it's dumb. It's fucking dumb. And it's, there's no point in it. I don't, I don't see the point in lying. I mean, and I mean, it's like, yeah, you might like niche things and you might like popular things. But the whole point is being your fucking self. And people are like, well, how do you be yourself? Don't fucking sit there and lie. And people always ask, like, Why, how do I be myself? You, you want to know how you be yourself? Well, you don't fucking lie every time you're asked a question about your opinion. If you have to lie about your opinion, that is fucking ridiculous. That's, the, that's one of the major things about being yourself. Stop lying about everything. About, about everything. Stop saying shit that you think people want to hear. And say shit that you mean. Cause I, I mean, alright, put it this way. My personality, I get a lot of shit, um, <laughs> I am told a lot 
in in um in life, well at least in real life, that I have a very um what's the word rude personality because I have the tendency to just say what's on my mind. Like I won't I won't sugarcoat shit with you. Anyone at work will tell you that. Anyone anyone at my job will tell you that. I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't. And a lot of people call that rude. And it, you know, in a sense, I can see where they're coming from. But I'm just not the kind of person who will lie to you about dumb shit. And it was like, it's like if you're being fucking stupid, I'm gonna tell you you're stupid. That's the whole point. I mean, the whole, really, when you when you get behind the whole mindset of why people follow the crowd and all this other shit, it's this dumb idea that you need to be accepted by everyone because everyone seems to have this idea that everybody can be their friend. That is not going to fucking happen. I'm sorry. You might share like similarities with people, but you, there will never be a point where you're everybody's friend. Because there's too many clashing ideas and mindsets in the goddamn world for that to happen. People need to stop trying to have everyone be their friend. Because of that, people, people always wonder, like, why, why, you only got two friends. I'm like, yeah, I got two friends that have my back on anything. And next, compared to your 50, which none of them would actually even go as far for you. That's the whole point. Friends... Uh, one thing, also, I guess the last thing I'll mention is that people need to stop confusing friends and acquaintances. Acquaintances are niggas you know and that you're cool with, but you know on a, on a deeper level you really won't be able to fuck with them that way. Friends are niggas you should be able to fuck with on any level. I should be able, it's like if we are friends and we are like really close friends, I should be able to tell you shit and know exactly how I put it. I should be able to tell you shit in full confidence and not feel like awkward or embarrassing. I should be so cool and chill with you. Acquaintances, there's a level of cutoff that you just don't fuck with niggas on. Like, you know niggas' personalities and you know you will never be any more than maybe like acquaintances or maybe like mild bullshit friends. But like close friends, that's the niggas you fuck with. And people use the term friends so fucking randomly nowadays, it's fucking ridiculous. But, um, that's really my whole thoughts on the whole subject. Uh, yeah, ramble, I know. Don't fucking tell me I know in the comments. Or just put in your comments and ideas and discussions and video responses in the comment section below. Just tell me how you feel in this whole individuality thing. Do you think people, do you think people with this whole fucking idea that if, if it's mainstream, then you're just being a sheep? Because people need to understand, just because it's mainstream doesn't make you a sheep. What makes you a sheep is when you follow it blindly. When you follow it not with an opinion of it. You just follow it just because it's new. That's a sheep. Liking something that's popular isn't a sheep. But, yeah. That's my whole thing. Uh, so, uh, lots of gameplay to win. Tell me your thoughts and uh, comments on the subject. Video responses are always welcome. And uh, check out Christopher and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.